whole lot better than that big ass gaping hole that we call Wyatt's mouth. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on guys? So today I'm gonna be working on my friend Carlos's EG hatch. This is the all motor one that I have a video up on. Posted it quite a while ago. It's just a dyno video of it and a couple of track passes. Um, unfortunately, I wasn't able to go with him when he first took it to the track, which kind of sucks. But this season, I should have quite a bit of videos on this car. Um, this was tuned by Derek. Um, it is a four piston setup. I'm not 100% positive on the setup. I believe it has like some Kinsler's ITBs. I don't know. I don't really know jack shit about all motor stuff. Um, he may be coming over tonight. If he does, if he does, I will have him explain the whole setup. Um, if he wants to, I'm not sure if he wants to have everybody know the exact setup on it. However, it did make what 325 on the motor here. And I know there's some people that were thinking that's pretty low for the four piston package that it has, which in re reality it's not because you got to realize we're up here at elevation. Um, I don't know the exact elevation of what that shop is, but the elevation here in Colorado could it be anywhere from like 5,000 to like 6,000. Plus um, the DA, it could make it make it crazy. Like sometimes, like over seven thousand or eight thousand. So that is why it didn't make as much power as the four piston advertises. Um, some pretty cool setup. A couple little updates. So basically, what I'm going to be doing. Hold on, real quick. Let me lower the hood and explain to you. So his old ITB setup used to sit. Um, more back, I believe, or more forward, I can't remember, or more low. They were more low like this, and so they came out right here. So we had to, or not we, but Carlos had to cut the hood back and widen it a little bit. So basically my job is to basically make a whole bunch of plates around it to kind of direct the air to it and just kind of fill up all the gaps and like on the sides here. Um, Maybe put like a little scoop on it right here. I'm not too sure yet what I'm gonna do about that. But basically kind of make some trim pieces for it so there's not just this huge ass hole in the hood. That's one thing I'm gonna be doing. I might also be taking his transmission out because he did get a dog box set up for it, which would be really cool. Um, he was having some issues with shifting his. So this should help with him running. I can't remember the fastest time he ran. I believe he ran like an 11 something on the motor, um, which is pretty good. And he was making sandwiches in between shifts. Also, we did get some fiberglass doors, which these will be a separate video on installing those. That'll be a separate video. This video is just gonna be making these, um, the little plates up front. But I'll also be making, I don't know if it'll be in this video, but he did get a different shifter also. He got the K-Tune, the billet one, I believe. He got the one that like locks you out of gears. It has some type of pin in it that locks you out of gears. It should be here somewhere actually. I'll have him explain it and we'll explain it when, when I actually get it in hand so I can show you guys. But so to start off with this, I'm gonna get some cardboard. Kinda use it for like a rough mock-up and template to kinda figure out what I'm gonna actually do with it. To be honest, what I'm probably gonna do is, all this right here might just make like a flat plate that goes across and just to kind of fill the gap. Maybe we can put some stickers on it and whatnot and just make it look a little nicer than being able to see all this. So, get started on cutting some cardboard out and kind of getting an idea of rough shape of how I wanna make it. So actually I have a little bit of a change of plans. So yesterday I was kind of looking at this, trying to figure it out. I mocked up a little bit of it and at first what I was thinking was I was just going to have a piece that was right here that just kind of went up to him. But instead what I'm going to do is I'm going to take um, these stacks off, whatever these are, they come kind of like a velocity stack almost for the ITBs. There is a, um, a screw right under there. So there's that screw right there that just kind of clamps them. So I just need to loosen all four of those. And then I'm basically gonna make a plate that will go like this on it, but have holes for each single one, so that way when I run this piece here, 
it actually like directs it off and there's not this open space around the ITBs. And same with up top, I think it'll make it a little bit nicer to work with that piece up there. And same with the sides. So the main thing is I need the sides, the bottom, that piece this way to stay here. And then that piece up top is just gonna come over with the hood as we open it and close it. So I think that should work really good and kind of help secure them also. So I'm gonna work on taking these off real quick. So basically to explain this, I put the plate in there like this and I measured from the side of the hood here, underneath obviously, from where this comes down to where this ITB starts. I got that measurement and then I basically measured like the overalls, right? Like where this one ended and then where this one started, this one ended, this one started, this one ended, this one started, this one ended to kind of get a rough idea. And I know that these are three inch so let me try to explain that real quick. So hopefully you guys can see this. The black marker kind of reflects off the light. This is where the first one starts and ends. Um, there's a couple of extra different lines, right? But this, these two lines here all the way across are three inches. And this center line here is inch and a half, right? And so basically from here to here, these three inch, just did inch and a half and then I figured out where this one started ended inch and a half in the middle there So it's kind of really easy to do kind of line up that way and then now I can wholesale these out and if I if My calculations are correct Hopefully it fits in there really nice and it stays flush with the hood Because the main thing I was trying to do is make sure it stays flush with the hood and it doesn't go up over it So I don't have to trim it so I'm gonna wholesale these holes out real quick and then after I do that, I gotta go meet my material guy kind of over by PFI and get the stuff for Wyatt Civic back here. But I got these holes sold out real quick and then show you guys kind of what's going on with it. My dumbass forgot to record what just happened. Ah. Well, you guys missed the first hole, but we got three more to go, so. Check it out. Actually came out pretty decent. Um, I may need to trim the top piece just a little bit. Uh, not 100% on if I need to yet. I will know here. I need to see if I can kind of tilt it a little bit, which I think I should be able to tilt it just enough to get it to work. But all the holes line up. Um, this one over here is kind of misaligned a little bit. I might have to take a Dremel and open it up, but either way. And if any of you guys are wondering, you're like, oh, it's gonna scratch the shit out of the ATBs. Don't worry, already one step ahead. I'm gonna take uh, some vacuum line and cut a line through it and then just run it around the edge. So that way it kind of gives it a nice little like seal and so it doesn't vibrate and rattle and so you can't hear it and so it doesn't scratch the shit out of his nice ITBs. So, yeah, I got that plate made. I'm gonna go pick up the material and then come back and work on getting, I think I'm gonna do the bottom plate first and then do the sides. So not 100% positive where I left off. Um, didn't really get much done last night, so I've been working on it today. So my problem is, is coming down with this little radius right here it's really hard to get it to all line up perfect. Um, and then same thing with this, like since this hole, so I didn't cut this hole, obviously I don't remember saying this earlier in the video, but Carlos cut the hole, um, he just YOLO'd it to get him to fit, and as you can see, like it's not a perfect square out of it. Like right here, kinda comes in at like an angle over here. And then this side's somewhat straight. And so it's kind of hard to get the sheet metal to do like what a random cut would be in a hood. And I could take this and kind of go straight with it, 
but that's chopping off so much of the hood so I don't really want to do that but I've basically got it almost where I want it I'm not gonna get it 100% perfect to see it like this but if anything we can put um, like some adhesive stuff or like some door trim stuff whatever it is on the hood but so basically once this shuts or once this comes up like this I need to trim a little bit more off here and that's about it other than that trim once I trim this little piece down I'll probably weld it and then I'll be going ahead and making this little square plate that's gonna rivet to this and stay on the hood I'm gonna make some brackets for this so that way it doesn't move all over the place so just gotta trim that little piece down kind of show I didn't really show you guys how I marked it um, it's really simple I just slid a piece of aluminum in there and just marked it and cut it out it's pretty simple most people wouldn't know how to do that this whole sheet metal thing is actually pretty hard so all those people who work with sheet metal all day you guys are awesome because that is definitely not an easy job to do so get this trimmed up a little bit and finish this thing up I did get this all welded up I mean I've done better not my best not my worst but I think I'm not too bad he's gonna polish everything so it should look pretty nice with this bracket also um, I did show you these I believe these things hold on to the velocity stacks really well so it's really tight they don't really go nowhere yeah and that's the other thing let me let me see if I can put this down real quick so this plate I know it looks a little weird but what he's gonna do is he is going to wrap this piece with the carbon fiber wrap this is an actual carbon fiber hood but he has some carbon fiber wrap so it'll match it pretty decent but he's gonna wrap this so that way it somewhat matches because it does look a little weird with just leaving it normal polished so he's gonna wrap it we're gonna rivet it on there and then maybe like take a permanent marker on the rivets and make them black so you can't see the rivets as nice so it kind of blends in a little bit and then as far as this gap goes we're gonna take like a piece of weather stripping and stick it right here so that way when the hood comes down it like presses on the on the weather stripping or yeah it'll probably go on top not on bottom so Carlos is gonna come over and actually yeah so Carlos is coming over here in a little bit he's gonna polish up uh, the velocity stacks in the whole ducting it's not even ducting just little filler pieces he's gonna polish those and then today Wyatt's also gonna come over and he's gonna get the hood exit on his car kind of fit it up and whatnot so be doing his teardrop also today hopefully if we get to it I've got to make a log manifold because this dude's been waiting for forever so if you're the dude that's been waiting for forever like almost a month now I'm getting it done just took a little while to get the tease so I'll start filming once Carlos gets here and kind of show you guys the end product of of it all polished up and installed Plus what? Pay down top or what? Yeah. He'll give you a return. Calm down. Above the pants return. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, that's a rip off of me, right? So we just got this all finished up. Yay. Came out pretty decent. Right? What do you think? Yes, sir. Looks good. Came out good? Put the, oh shit, that's why I can't lift it up. The hood pins are on. I'm gonna show them the little piece of weather stripping. Cause like the camera doesn't pick it up very well. But there's this piece of weather stripping underneath it. Or what the hell is this? Like a door seal yeah, thing? Strip. Just rivet it on. It looks a whole lot better than that big ass gaping hole that we call Wyatt's mouth. Now. Got this teardrop basically made Looks like on Wyatt's car. It's pretty flush. It's pretty cool. Yeah, it's not bad. He did most of it. I just cut the teardrop kind of. Yeah. Except I'll be welding it, so. Yeah. So I gotta I would, add the bump to it. I wouldn't want to show him up since that's what he does for business, you know? Yeah, right. 
Yeah, look. So you could add the bung to it and whatnot. <laughs> I bet it opens with the hood. Oh, damn it. You dumbass. It's not welded. Dude, it looks good though. I think so. That looks sick. I'll just run the car without the hood. It looks better that way anyways. Dope. Yeah, he's gonna make an actual video of it. No. I was gonna make a video on it, but we got so much shit going on. Get my O2 button. There's no point. Fuck yourself. See how it looks, dude. Fuck yourself. <laughs> and we also <laughs> so this will be done for tonight we got a lot of other shit to do to it still and then Wyatt over here got this hole kind of dremeled out for his his teardrop hood exit as you can see he's gonna open it up a little bit make it more even when he welded it it kind of warped a little bit but we gotta make the dump tube real quick Wyatt cut that fucking 45 but we're basically just gonna 45 this down and just kind of put it put it so it shoots underneath the car should work pretty well And then and then go home and go to bed I'm tired of shit Got his dump tube made Got his dump tube made hood X is done He's gonna get here or fucking he's gonna stay here and clean Yes. We're gonna get the fuck out of here So hope you guys enjoy this video as always, thanks for watching. Deuces! Why it's still faggot. Oh.